Hello, I'm your host Jack Krabarzar and this is Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of technology. Scientists at the University of Cambridge are developing the next generation of computer technologies. Current computers are based on transistors in the flow of electrical charge, but there is a limit to how many transistors can physically fit on a computer chip and we are approaching that limit. A potential replacement for transistor-based electronics is called spintronics. The principle behind spintronics is the transfer of information through the detection of an electron spin. Spin can be transferred from electron to electron like an electric current, but doesn't actually require the flow of electrons. So not only will this technology outperform transistors, but it'll require less power. Now there is still a lot of work to be done, but scientists at Cambridge have been making progress. Our next story comes from the field of medicine. Researchers in France are working on a method to test for cancer with a simple blood test. Dead cancer cells leave extremely trace amounts of their DNA. With conventional sequencing technology, detecting the cancer genes would be impossible. But this new method being tested divides the blood sample into millions of tiny droplets. That way, there's only one gene per droplet. Each individual gene is multiplied, and specialized fluorescent molecules are added that bind to specific cancer genes. By looking at which genes and what percentage are cancer-related, they can determine the type and stage of the cancer. And material scientists at Tokyo University say they've created a super-elastic alloy. Certain metal alloys revert to their original shape after being bent or deformed. This is because the actual crystal structure of the metal bends instead of breaking. The alloy created by Tokyo University is mostly iron-based with small amounts of nickel and can resume its original shape in the widest temperature ranges between 196 to 249 degrees Celsius. The scientists say this has a tremendous applications in constructing earthquake-resistant buildings. And finally, from the world of medicine, researchers at the University of North Carolina have used a technique known as optogenetics on rodents to control their reward-seeking behavior. Optogenetics entails taking light-sensitive proteins and putting them in brain cells. They then shine lasers onto the brain cells to either excite or block their activity. In the first part of the experiment, they put the opsins into the brain cells that are associated with reward and stimulated them with light. This created a sense of reward when performing a mundane task. In the second part, the light would block the activity. They then conditioned the mice to expect a treat every time a light bulb in their cage was turned on. The control mice learned to anticipate the treat while the altered mice didn't respond to the cue. This ability to stimulate and manipulate regions of the brain could also one day become an alternative to electrical stimulation or pharmacotherapy for diseases like Parkinson's. Well, that's it for this week. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links down below. Hello, YouTube. This is Q Dragon with a quick announcement. Uh, right now, I am writing and editing Brainstorm, and Jack is hosting. But for the next two weeks, Jack is going to be doing everything because I'm going to Comic Con. So the editing style may be a bit different, but other than that, everything will be normal. And I will also be uploading some videos from Comic-Con. Thanks.